Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Money Versations. Leo nitakuwa mwalimu wa mathematics and I'm going to look at this controversial question yenye kila mtu amekuwa akiuliza, how bad is this interest rate drop? And we are going to compare with figures. So hatutakuwa na story mingi. We want to look at the mathematics of how the interest rates looked like wakati we were at January 2024 when the daily average interest rate of a company like Etika or Kuza was at 16.5% and we are going to jump all the way forward to August 2025 where we are at the moment when the interest rate is now at 11.5% and the figure that you are going to work with is 100,000 bob. So, let's start formula by the way kwa wale nyao wako wapendi math sana. The formula to find the daily interest rate yenye nao tuta multiply to find an average ya the monthly interest rate inaendanga hivi. Principal times rate times time. And this is what we're going to remember because we're going to use the same here. Now we're going to use the same on the other side as well. So, principal to mesemani 100,000 bob. And we're going to multiply it with this rate over here, 16.5%. And then the duration, he kumbuka ni an annual rate. So if you are going to get the daily rate tunaenda ku divide by 365 days. Kama kuna mtu ajelewa 365 days inatoka wapi? Maybe go and refer to how many days make a year. Kwa sababu tuko na 15% withholding tax that is charged on the interest when it comes to money market fund. So tuta multiply na hiyo 15% taken away from 100% ina come down to 85%, right? So tunaenda ku multiply by 85%. Let me explain kama kuna mtu amepotea to this point over here. Kwa hii interest hapa, kama atunge kuwa tunatoa withholding tax ya 15%, then hatuna haja ya ku multiply this one at the end. But because tuta deduct 15%, what will be left from the 100% that we had initially? ni 85%. And to make things easier you can go to your calculator and try to punch these figures but from my end when I punched what I got is 38.42. Hii ndio interest yenye utakuwa una get net on each and every day. But then remember we are looking to get the average monthly return yenye utapata. So we are going to take our figure over here and multiply it by 30 days and the answer that i got you can also counter check and get yours ni 1152 eh ukitaka pia na paka point tuende ni 739 1152.739 so ladies and gentlemen if i had 100000 bob invested or deposited in a money market fund account which was giving me 16.5 percent that was the daily interest rate at that particular point then at the end of the month i was supposed to get an average of 1152.739 of course that is like 1153 going by the 16.5 percent rate so now let us change these figures kidogo so tunachukua the same 100 1000 multiply it by 11.5% and then multiply it by the 1 over 365 to share explain that one and then we are also going to multiply that by 85% ili to put the net daily return so when we punch this kwa calculator as usual tutapata now 26.7 80 as your daily return daily net yield after tax 
So what you're going to do, the same thing that we did over here, multiply that by 30 so that we have the average monthly yield. So nilipopiga pia hiyo and you can help me as well kwa comment section uniambie kama pia wewe unaipata hiyo mathematics ni 803.424. So now since we have results as at January 2024 and then on the other side we have results as at August 2025 With the difference in the drop, now we can answer the question, how bad is the interest rate drop? We will take 1,152 as it is 1,152. Take away what could be yielded as at now. And then we see how bad is this interest rate drop? And the answer, 349 bob. 305 there about yeah kuna dot zingine kwenda huko mbele but the difference over this duration from the 16.5 to 11.5% it has been a drop here about 349 shillings and 3 cents is it that bad that many people are panicking out there Most of the people when you are fixated with the interest drop and I want to mention this majority of them are the people that are starting out if you are starting out your focus as I've always said in the other videos your focus should not be on what am I getting in return remember as long as the rate that you are getting is above the inflation rate remember right now the inflation rate as at last month ilikuwa ni 3.8% So if you're going to get something that is more or beyond this inflation rate then you are doing well your main purpose should be what we always call fattening the cow increase your accumulation because when you collect or rather when you accumulate a good amount of money money will always come with options it will now give you options of where can you go and get more than 11.5% It's another thing that people the uh, wingy don't know about out here that this 11.5% return that you're getting out here that is going to give you around this amount of money this is still higher than what other vehicles are returning comparing it with rental income which is averaging right now at about 6% compare it with rates which are giving you around 8-9% there about and even other options of shares some shares are returning very good returns some are giving you very little returns so usikuwe quick to compare and 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 contrast so that could you like oh should i go this way should i go that way apana your goal accumulate accumulate once you have a good amount of money then you have the options you can now consider okay where else can i put some of my money but looking at the drops and then when we've dealt with the figures and come down to this amount then the drop is not really as bad as we thought it was and for those that already have money that is more than 100,000 those that have 1 million 2 million 3 million 5 million there are still other many factors that you consider when you're looking at the options that you have comparing them with the money market fund kuna vitu kama how much of risk can you uh, can you absorb what are the objectives that you have what are the goals that you have in mind and you want to work towards so most of those things are the things that you put on the table right now by the way uh, the, the shares for example shares in aragesha very right now they are doing very well yeah most of them size is in achezea hata kuna hata hata 100% kuna hata 100% return right now but please do not be quick eh this is advice from me to you do not be quick to chase shiny interest rates understand the investment that you're going to put your money into you didn't earn that money vivi so why should you let that money go down the drain why should you kill yourself mapema na pressure because you found the figures negative or below what you had planned i hope this calculation helped you to understand the differences among the changes in terms of interest rates now how they look like let me know in the comment section below ni gani utapenda tufanye mathematics so that to understand how it also goes if you also want to see how the special funds in a return we will also do the mathematics 
kama kawaida and if it's your first time here ama you've been watching lakini uja subscribe make sure you subscribe before you leave and as usual thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video